Hello guys, good morning. Ezekiel here and this is actually the continuation of my previous video which is all about how to find the area of a circle. But for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the circumference of a circle. So when we say circumference, this is the distance around the circle. Let us now begin with the radius. When we say radius, it is the distance between the circle or center of a circle. So I'm gonna make a line from here to here like what I did before. And that's what we call radius. Now, let's say that our radius is still four centimeters. To find the circumference of this circle, we're just gonna find the diameter first. So we're gonna multiply this 4 centimeters by 2. So 4 centimeters times 2 is 8 centimeters. Since we since we multiply this by 2, we're gonna make we're gonna double this line. So I'm gonna make um a line from here to here. And that's what we call diameter. When we say diameter, it means how wide our circle is or it means a straight line that, that through passes through the center of the circle. So to find the circumference of the circle, we're gonna use this formula. C equals pi times D. C is for circumference, this is our pi, and D is for diameter. So the value of our pi is, is still 3.14. 3.14. Our diameter is 8 centimeters. To find the circumference of the circle, we're going to multiply our diameter to our pi, which is 8 centimeters times 3.14. equals 25.12 centimeters and 25.12 centimeters is the circumference of this circle now let me give another example Um, we're going to use the same formula as well. Let's say that our radius is 6 centimeters. And we're going to multiply this 6 centimeters by 2. So uh, uh, 6 centimeters times 2 equals 12 centimeters. And we're going to make a line from here to here. And that's what we call diameter. So our diameter is 12 centimeters. So I'm going to put 12 centimeters in here. So 12 centimeters. And we're going to multiply our diameter to our pi, which is 12 centimeters times 3.14 equals 37. Point sixty-eight centimeters.
and 37.68 centimeters is the circumference of the circle and you can also use this formula and you will get the same answer like our first example c equals to times pi times radius since we're gonna use the radius we're not gonna use the diameter so 2 times pi times radius which is 4 centimeters So, we're gonna multiply these two to 4 centimeters and it will give us 8 pi centimeters. And we can say that the circumference of this circle is 8 pi centimeters. And remember that the value of our pi is still 3.14 and we can multiply our pi to 8 centimeters. So 8 times 3.14 will give us the same answer like our first example. 25.12 centimeters. And the circumference of our circle is 25.12 centimeters. Now, which formula do you prefer? The first one or this one? Again, this is Ezekiel saying, keep studying, keep safe, God bless, and have a good day.